before we get into this game, make sure if you do the following, if you are new to the channel and you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us, it motivates us to keep making you guys videos. Make sure you turn your notifications on, hit the like button, and last but certainly not least, leave us a comment. Speaking of the comments, we're going to give some shout outs right now. Give me one second. Oh, a little yawn there. Tired, been working hard. Been a great week on free plays. We are undefeated so far this week. And guys, don't neglect the Instagram pages. We have more than one. And different things are posted on different ones. So keep track of all of them. The Sports Profits underscore and the Profits Picks. A lot of you guys know about it because I see some of your names on there. A lot of you guys don't. Shout out to NJ Jersey, NJ95. You disagree with me, but you've always been a good fan. And I respect the breakdown. Um, old man, shout out. Greg Myers, of course. Gloria K. Waterboy A. So let me make this clear to everyone, by the way, about the shirts. On the Instagram, this is why I want you guys to follow the Instagram also. I posted a, a email from the t-shirt company on the new batch of t-shirts and hoodies. And on Thursday, uh, December 2nd, they said that everything would take five to seven business days from Thursday. So you do the math. Could be the end of next week. Could be the middle of the week after by the time we get our hands on them, and then we will immediately go to the post office and get them shipped out to you guys. Van Sosa, KJ Philly 5 Teamer, Waterboy, Jaden Nethery, Zoni NorCal, Solomon Tibby, Roll Tide. Welcome back, Solomon Tibby. It's been a while. Mika Ott, I definitely agree with the Utes. My boy is convinced Oregon, but I don't think so. Shout out Mika. Shout out Tyler Martin. I gave you guys all shout outs. Jeff Chung, shout out. Greg Myers, Forrest Schroeder, go Ducks. Didn't pan out for you too well there, did it, buddy? We had another guy predicting Oregon too, and his whole prediction's gone. I was just saying all this nice stuff about him. I don't know where he went. I gave him a great shout out too. Maybe that was the video before. Hold on one second here. Dude, so he took that whole thread off. Dude. So yeah, someone left a really good breakdown. He must have deleted it. That sucks. So basically someone left a really good breakdown uh, saying why he was going to go with Oregon over Utah. And I gave him a whole comment. On the last video, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone right now. That's gone. Anyway, I guess let's dig into this video. That's really weird. Dude, if you leave a comment and break down a video and you don't get it right, don't delete it, man. I was just saying how great your comment was. Strange. Huh. All right, so we have two of the top sophomore quarterbacks facing off this Sunday, 1 p.m., the Los Angeles Chargers and the Cincinnati Bengals are facing off. Like I said, this is a team where we have a tight AFC playoff race and both teams need a victory here. The Bengals are three-point favorites with a total set of 50. The Chargers started off hot, one of the hottest teams in the NFL, going 4-1 in their first five games. But since then, they have dropped four of their next six, putting them at 6-5 and five on the year. They're hoping to bounce back. It was a 28-13 loss to the Broncos last week. Not very good. Young quarterback Justin Herbert is looking to build off a solid rookie year. A little sophomore slump, but 3,200 yards, 32 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 24 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, not bad. Austin Eckler is averaging five yards a carry, seven rushing touchdowns. Chargers are not a run-heavy team. They're a pass-heavy team. They're only averaging 103 yards per game on the ground. That's 22nd in the NFL. Not going to cut it. Lucky for them, Justin Herbert and Ken Allen have been an effective deal. Keenan Allen is 
flying. So 28.8 points per game, top half of the league. I guess I wouldn't call a sophomore slump. He's doing solid. Their defense passing has been solid also, holding opposing quarterbacks to 205 yards per game, top five in the NFL. But their rushing defense ranks dead last in the league, which is why they're allowing 26.6 points per game. Joe Burrow, sick rookie season last year, sidelined with a knee injury. He is good this year. 2,800 yards, 22 touchdowns, 12 picks, but he just seems to, to put some nice wins together. Balanced attack, ranking 12th in passing yards per game, 17th in rushing yards per game. Joe Mixon spearheads that ground game, and he does a good job of it. He's rushed for 924 yards this season, 11 touchdowns, and just getting the job done. He's given up. They've given up 255 through the air, which ranks 25th in the league. They're holding team to 20.5 per game, which is tied for sixth best in the league. Woo! That's because that run defense is stout. Very tough. Under 94 rushing yards per game. I like what I see there. The Bengals are looking to string together a third win in a row. They've won decisively in most of their games. They've covered the spread in four of their last six. The Chargers on the other side of the ball look like they're heading in the wrong direction. They can't win games. They're not able to cover spreads. One and five in their last six against the spread, ladies and gents. I don't like it. Plus, the Bengals are dominating the head-to-head -head series, going 6-1-1 one, one against the spread in their last eight games against the Chargers. Guys, Bengals are favored by three points in this one. By the hook, by the hook, by the hook. Bengals minus two and a half. Clock it. That's our last game of the week. We're undefeated so far with this Alabama-Georgia game pending today. Guys, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow for the Monday Night Football Breakdown.